Hi class, so in this video, I will be going over some of the topics covered in chapter one, titled Understanding the Role of and Conceptualizing Health Policy and Law. So in chapter one, we introduce the role that's actually played by policy and law regarding health of individuals and populations. And then we'll be touching on various conceptual frameworks with which you can approach the study of health policy and law. All right, so let's get started. So policy and law have had this undeniable forceful influence on health, on the health of individuals as well as populations. Um, policy and law have always been fundamental actually in shaping the behaviors of individuals and industries. They have shaped all aspects of the healthcare system. So when looking at the structure and organization, um, as well as service delivery, financing, and to administrative and judicial oversight. Um, so really, policy and law, I mean, has been involved pertaining to accreditation and certification of individual or institutional healthcare providers. You have the requirements uh, to provide care under certain circumstances. Um, we have policy and law that influence the creation of public insurance programs and the regulation of private insurance systems. So as you can tell, it really has shaped, again, all aspects of the healthcare system. And choices made by policymakers and decisions handed down through the ju judicial system, they really influence how we approach, experience, analyze, and research um, all of these and other specific aspects of the healthcare system. Now, there is a video regarding um, policymakers, if I'm not mistaken, um, legislators regarding rural health in this week's uh, module. And just listening to, um, you know, if I'm not mistaken, legislators, you know, just listening to these policymakers um, speaking about the importance of this specific um, area of health in, you know, regarding the video, it was rural health. You know, it's, it's just amazing to see what an impact um, policies and laws have on our healthcare system. So in the next slide, we will continue speaking about the role of policy and law in healthcare as well as in public health. So policy and law have played a very important and vital role in our everyday public health activities, as well as in many historic public health accomplishments. Now, we see this, some examples include um, food establishment inspections, occupational safety standards, policies related to health services for people with chronic conditions like diabetes. And there's also been many historic public health accomplishments, as I mentioned earlier. Some examples of this include water and air purification, reduction in the spread of communicable diseases through compulsory, compulsory immunization laws, or the reduction in the number of automobile-related deaths through the use of seat belts and consumer safety laws. So this kind of gives you an idea of how such policies and laws impact our everyday activities and actually protect us, um, protect our health, ultimately. Now, next I will be covering um, three primary frameworks that are used to conceptualize health policy and law. So let's go to the following slide. All right, so let me go to slide number six. So there's three frameworks here. Now the first one is really concerned with an individual's access to care. So it's very broad um, 
uh, you know, when looking at health policy and law. So we're looking, so in this framework, we're looking more, it's more concerned with an individual's access to care. Um, an example would be what policies and laws impact an individual's ability to access needed care, the quality of such care, um, is it appropriate, is it cost effective, and, um, you know, how this person's care is financed, are they insured. Now, the second framework really considers, um, you know, the historical factors. It's more based on the social, political, and economic views that dominate a particular era. And then the third way to conceptualize health policy and law is in terms of the stakeholders whose interests are impacted by certain policy choices or by the passage or interpretation of a law. So here we're thinking of when we're talking about stakeholders, we're really thinking about patients, healthcare providers, governments, the public, managed care and traditional insurance companies, employers, pharmaceutical industry, and the list goes on. But just to kind of give you a gist of what I'm talking about. Now, the next, um, I would say, list here kind of gives you an idea of, of some of the things I've mentioned regarding these three different frameworks um, and some of the things you would think about regarding um, each framework. So, you know, the first one, we're looking more into healthcare, public health, and bioethics. And as I said, it's a much broader um, domain. Then you have your second framework, which is looking at it from more a historical point of view and looking at um, the specific, the particular era um, in which, you know, this specific health policy was brought into effect or whatever. And then you have your third framework. And this is where you're really focusing on the perspectives of the key stakeholders regarding a policy or law. So the next couple of slides pretty much touch on what I um, covered regarding the three frameworks. I want to try to keep these lecture videos as short as possible and just really touch on the most important topics. So this pretty much ends chapter one's uh, video lecture, but you do have the PowerPoint presentation. Um, remember, you can add notes on it. I do provide, you know, I do um, provide you with the PowerPoint presentation in a PowerPoint format. So um, it'll be easier for you if you want to add notes um, for yourself. And of course, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to let me know. Take care, everyone. Bye.